hey what is up you guys welcome back to another video guys today i'm going to show you guys a highly requested video how to make a kitchen in multicraft uh this is a standard a standard kitchen i think it's not really modern i won't call it modern just like standard kitchen so let's get right into the video <laughs> Okay guys, I'm sorry if I haven't posted in a while, it's because I'm going to school and it's getting really hectic now, so I don't know what I'm going to do about this uploading regularly problem, but this is my freezer, or my fridge, check out my fridge video, I didn't link it down below, but check out my channel list, you'll see it there, how to make a refrigerator if you haven't seen it. So you add the refrigerator in your kitchen, and then you get a black wool micro slab and a concrete block. So now we're going to make a counter like this. It depends on the layout of your kitchen though. If yours is rectangular, it can be like this. If it's square, it'll be the same thing. It really doesn't matter. Now we're going to get a glass pane. I'm not going to make this long. I need that space for something. Now uh, I'm going to get a glass pane. Thin one. I need thin one. Who else is waiting for the update to come out? I'm waiting for this dearly. I don't even know what to do anymore, guys. I need your suggestions. I I'm out of ideas. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. Put the glass pane just for decoration. You know, to fancy it up. Then you cover the entire block with micro slab. Like that. Like so. Now it looks like a fancy kitchen thingy. And uh, we get a button. A stone button or wood, whatever fits you. And uh, you place them on the blocks like so I don't know why it's just the only thing that you know makes sense so I'm gonna go with that and we're done with the counter that's literally it from the counter it's actually very easy this is how I make all my kitchens uh, so yeah now we are gonna get a furnace and place it randomly any how you want just place it in you know at the back of a wall they get some quartz block and place um, quartz block by the side of it. You can make this multiple furnaces, just follow the pattern quartz block furnace, quartz block furnace. Now we're gonna get a black wool micro slab and cover the you know entire surfaces of these three blocks. Um, this might take a while. Hold on, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button, it really helps me, guys. Thank you. And we're almost in 2000 subs, so I suggest that you. Hit that subscribe button. It's to join the community. This beautiful wonderland we call Multicraft. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, now that we've covered the entire um, counter with black wool micro slabs, it's time to move on to the next phase. So, here we're gonna need um, those thingies that are shaped, this section. Now, you can get whatever you want. I'm gonna get black wool one. You get that triangular one and. Uh, a block of it I'll show you what I mean black wool whatever the name is I'm sorry if I don't know the name just follow what I do that's the best thing you can actually do because I can't really explain this so we get our black wool, uh, black wool slope you place it one block higher you know like that you know in your kitchen and we have that vent thing that's what I'm trying to do it just came to me actually I didn't plan this video I'm just building it as I'm going so that's why it took so long okay so yeah, we do that, and we place a black wool block on top to make the thingy thingy. How does it look? Uh, it actually, it looked better than it looked in my head. Okay, now we're gonna get a button, and this is how you turn on your furnace. Quote: You can actually turn it on, but just you know for the, you know pizzazz and the decoration of your furnace thingy. Now, I'm going to place my coal in there because it's hogging up my inventory. So, uh, now it's time for the cupboards. Now, as usual, you can do this anyhow you want, but I wanted to spice this up because, I don't know, just placing chests on a wall seems too boring. So, I got birch wood slab. Not a micro slab, a slab. It's this thing that is like half a block. It also moves like a micro slab, so don't worry. Now, you get it to your desired shape like that so if I place a chest on the wall and try and move the slab to like make it look as if it's um you know holding up the chest hold on just what should I do and there we go see like that it just makes it look you know aesthetically pleasing now I'm gonna get another slab and place it under 
and shift it up until it looks like it's actually carrying it. I would have done a third one, but I realized that my micro slab was blocking it from doing it, so I couldn't really do it. But if yours has space, of course, do the third one. It's aesthetic, it's aesthetically pleasing like that way. So uh, that's all I can say. Is I just moved. The, so I didn't want to do it anymore. I was already getting tired. So that's the kitchen. That's the, literally it. So that's all I have to say. Oh, let me place my coal. I don't know why I have those. My freeze is awesome. I love the food in here. I'm, I'm gonna drink my soup later. It's just sitting in there for four months. Don't tell my mom. Okay. Uh, we got this. We got that. I think I'm done. And uh, guys, I am sorry if I might not be able to upload as regularly as I used to. I don't know. Things have just been getting seriously busy right now, and I'm trying so hard to upload. Uh, okay, it's all fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. But I'm going to see if I can decorate this a little. Ugh. Uh, that doesn't go at all. Uh, okay. Okay. I really hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.